Hello there, and welcome on into Mr. Tabar's little science lab today. What I've got for us is a demonstration of a very special type of dough that we like to call conductive dough. Now, at first glance, this dough may not look very special. It looks a lot like the dough that maybe you use to make bread, or perhaps even looks a lot like Play-Doh. And truthfully, it's made of a lot of the same stuff. It's mostly just wheat flour mixed with water and even a little bit of vegetable oil. But this dough has a couple of special extra ingredients that have been added in there. Those ingredients being lemon juice and salt. Now you might wonder, why would you want to mix lemon juice and salt uh, with dough like this? It certainly would make it so that you don't want to make bread out of this stuff. It would probably taste very salty and pretty disgusting. But the reason is, by adding salt and lemon juice to this dough, it actually gives it a very, very special and cool property which is that this dough is now able to conduct electricity. Now what does it mean if a substance can conduct electricity? Simply put, it means that electricity is able to travel through it. Electric currents can travel through this dough in the same way that it might travel through a wire or a cable or certain substances like certain metals or water. In other words, if you had two electrical wires with an electric current running through them, stuck one in one end of the dough and the other in the other end, the electricity would be able to travel through the wire, through the dough, and then into the other wire. So that's what we mean when we say that this dough is conductive. And in order to demonstrate this property, what I have here is I have a couple of 9 volt batteries and a couple of LED lights. These being lights that will light up when an electric current passes through them. And we can use these to show the conductive properties of this stuff. So the first quick demonstration, very simple one, will just be, I'm going to start with a 9 volt battery. I'm going to take a couple little pieces of the dough right there. Just a couple of uh, little nubs like so. I'm going to stick one on the negative lead of the battery and one on the positive lead like that. And then I'm going to take one of my LED lights, I'll start with the red one, and uh, stick it on the dough in such a way that one of the leads is stuck into that little nub and the other is stuck into that one and see what happens. Oops, beg your pardon, may have to turn that around. There we are. So we can see folks that the LED is now lighting up. What's causing that to happen is the power from the battery is actually traveling through that bit of dough, through the LED light, back down through the other bit of dough and back into the battery. And so because there is a complete circuit, electricity is able to travel between the light and between the battery over and over in a circuit like that with the dough serving as a conduit. So that's just a very simple demonstration there everyone. What I can do now is I can show you one that's a little more elaborate. This time I'd like to try to create a full circuit using two batteries this time. And the way I'm going to do that is like this. I'm going to start by laying both of the batteries down like so, making sure that the positive lead of this battery is right next to the negative lead of this battery so that my first step can be to take another little bit of dough, like so, and sort of squish it across those two battery leads in order to bridge the two together like this. So now the two batteries are connected. What I can do now, in order to create sort of a, a looping circuit around, if I can light up a few different lights, is I'm going to take a couple more, maybe slightly bigger pieces of dough, and I'm going to roll them up in such a way that I create these sort of uh, worm-looking strands of dough. And being that these are conductive, I'm actually treating them more like, uh, like cables or wires that I'm creating out of this stuff. So one of these dough cables, I'm going to stick on the end of this battery and loop it over like so. And now I'm going to roll up my other one create my other dough cable or my other dough wire, wire worm perhaps I can call it, stick it to this lead of this battery and loop it over here and put it right up next to the edge of the other one I just created. So now we got, we have a, a dough wire leading over here into the first battery, bridging to the second battery and then looping back over here. Now watch what happens everybody when I now bridge this gap between the two dough wires here with another LED light. Now maybe I'll go with a different color this time. Go with the green one. Let's check it out. Watch what happens. Oops. Against me I have to turn it around. And there we are. 
And so by sticking the LED light there, the circuit, electrical circuit, is now completed. Electricity is able to travel through the two batteries, through the light, and back around again. And in fact, there may be enough power, now that we have two batteries, to even stick some more on there. Let's try sticking a second LED light there, and even a third, and a yellow one as well. There we go, so we've got a whole traffic signal going there. All right, so you can probably imagine uh, with more batteries and with more LED lights and maybe even some other devices like uh, little mini light bulbs or cooling fans or things like that, you can create all kinds of cool circuits uh, using this very special conductive dough. So if you're curious to know about the ingredients used to make this dough, the actual recipe, you want to make some for yourself and try it at home, I did include a link to a website called Squishy Circuits in the description if you want to check that out and just a quick description of the recipe itself, okay? So hopefully you guys have some fun with this today. I appreciate you joining me. Take care.